I'm Garmin Harbottle, and I work in the chemistry department of Brookhaven National Laboratory. A, an interesting uh, parchment, the Vinland map, which surfaced in London in the middle 1950s. The question had always been whether the map was authentic. The map at the present time is housed in the Beinecke Library of Rare Books and Manuscripts at Yale University. We made an arrangement with Yale University to sample the Vinland map and to carry out carbon-14 dating uh, on that sample. Now this was a rather delicate operation because the map is presently valued at 25 million dollars and removing a piece of it uh, causes anxiety, shall I say. We then, having obtained a sample, had to weigh it. That was a very important uh, feature. And the weight that we got was uh, a little over 28 milligrams, 0.0287 grams. So after making the cut with a scalpel and obtaining a sample of the right weight, it was packaged up, and uh, Dr. Donahue uh, basically put it in his briefcase and flew out to Arizona, where the actual dating was to be carried out. In Arizona, the first sample was cut. It was about 2 milligrams and the treatment involves burning the parchment in oxygen in a red-hot quartz tube. The evolved uh, carbon dioxide then is collected and purified. Then the carbon dioxide must be converted to elementary carbon, which is graphite. It's the same thing you find in your lead pencil. And uh, this uh, now tiny sample of graphite representing the first two milligram cut that we made uh, was transferred to a special cell uh, for introduction into the accelerator. The accelerator mass spectrometer at the University of Arizona is funded in part by the National Science Foundation uh, for the use of archaeologists all over the United States. And it was, of course, vitally important, uh, the key to carrying out this whole experiment. Finally, the dating was carried out, and the result, which uh, we are now publishing in the journal Radiocarbon, is that the date came out 1434 A.D., plus or minus 11 years. While it doesn't prove authenticity, certainly gives a powerful uh, thrust in the direction of authenticity because the parchment came out to have precisely the correct date.